Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we'll talk about the circle. Now, what do we need to know about the circle? What are the naming conventions? Well, first of all, the definition is that it's a closed curve where all the points on the curve are equidistant, mean the same distance from the center. So we pick a center point and all the points on the curve are the same distance, and I just erased a little part of my circle right here, but all the points on the circle are the same distance away from that central point, and that's the definition of a circle. Now notice we have a circle here. We have a line drawn from the center to the edge. When it reaches the edge perpendicular or the curve perpendicular, we call that the radius of the circle. When we draw a line all the way through the circle, but it also goes to the point right here at the center, this is called the center of the circle, then that's called the diameter from A to B. And if we draw a line from A to C, then this portion of the circle is called the minor arc because it spans an angle of less than 180 degrees. And then this other portion right here is called the major arc. So those are the main portions of a circle. Now when we go over to the right side of the board here, notice we've drawn some lines. Again, we've drawn the line from C to D. It goes to the center point right here. If this is the center, then this is also called the diameter. That's the same as going from A to B over here. But if we draw a line where it does not go to the center, like here from A to B, that's called a chord. Now if we draw a line through the circle and it hits the circle at two separate points like this, that's called the secant line. And if we draw a line in such a way that only touches the circle at one particular point, only one point right here on the edge of the circle, then that's called the tangent line. Now we can also have some other words here that we should know or be familiar with called the semicircle. If we draw a line like here from A to B and it goes to the center, then we have the circle divided into two what we call semicircles or half circles. A central angle is an angle formed by two lines drawn from the center to the edge of the circle called the radius. So this is also a radius, this is a radius, so this angle here is called a central angle. If you start from a different point, let's say from the edge of the circle, and you draw two lines like this, that is not called a central angle. It has to be from the center to the edge of the circle. So the angle between two radii, if we want to call it that way, is called the central angle. Some other naming conventions we should be familiar with. If we draw a circle inside here, this triangle, or we could also call it a polygon because it has many sides, more than two sides here, three sides in this case. You can see here that the circle is inside the polygon, therefore we call that an inscribed circle, and the polygon which goes around the circle is called the circumscribed polygon. But if we reverse the order, we draw the polygon inside the circle, then it's called the inscribed polygon and the circumscribed circle. And finally, what if we have two circles that have the same center? Those are called concentric circles. They have the same center, so co and centric is the word that determines that it's the same center, so therefore the two circles have the same center, they're called concentric circles. So those are the basic naming conventions we should be familiar, familiar with when we're dealing with circles. Now hopefully you have the nomenclature well at hand, now we can start looking at some more specific things about geometry, of all the various figures, and that will be in the next series, next set of videos coming up. That's how we do that.